Hi everybody, uh, my name is Marty uh, from my website mdesigns.space and in this video I'm going to go over a SOLIDWORKS model of an adjustable human figure I made. So I started this uh, early 2025, been working on it pretty much full time for one and a half months, probably put in close to 150 hours. Um, but it's, it's quite a cool model, so just to give you a quick demonstration it's uh, adjustable at all the, the major joints and I can, you know, reposition it as desired. So allows me to kind of add a lot to SOLIDWORKS scenes. Um, maybe if I have a product that has some human interaction factor, for example, a chair and I want somebody sitting on the chair or somebody sitting inside a car, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Uh, yeah, this really gives me that capability. So. Really, SOLIDWORKS isn't the ideal software to do this kind of stuff in where you're making a human figure. Uh, but nevertheless, you generally design products that have some level of human um, integration. So it's useful to have a form to, to bring in. And uh, from my research, there's not too much out there. Uh, there is a little bit, but yeah, I wanted to see what I could make myself. So. I was expecting this model to take me, I don't know, 20 to 40 hours and kind of ended up being triple that amount. So if you want to support my work, you actually can purchase this assembly file and all the other necessary files that go along with it. Uh, head over to my website, mdesigns.space, or you can check the link in the video description. Um, that might be a better option in case I do change my website in the future. I can always update the link. So as I quickly demonstrated, I can articulate the joints. And just to show some examples of things I've done uh, previously, you know, you might have a figure that's lying down or taking a rest. Uh, you might have something that's squatting, you know, and maybe I could uh, bring in another part um, that this figure's holding, like lifting a box, for example. Might have something that's kind of running or walking fast. Uh, in this example, this is a sea scooter that I made. And here I brought in the figure and kind of updated the appearance so it's more, you know, applicable to swimming. Uh, and yeah, this is quite cool for me because it really gives a lot of perspective. Um, and potentially if you're making presentations, this, you know, adds a little bit to it. So obviously there are limitations here. Um, there's discrepancies at a lot of the sort of joints, but this is really kind of the best I could do in SOLIDWORKS. And to quickly sort of demonstrate some of the functionality, I might actually just jump into another scene. So this is another scene, a bit ridiculous, just having a bit of fun, but I brought in multiple figures. Uh, I also scaled one down to kind of represent uh, a child. So if this model is successful, I may also look at making a female version in the future and also making some improvements like the scaling process uh, a little bit better. Uh, I will also make a longer video fully detailing how I modeled this. That will be quite long, probably at least an hour, so it won't be for everyone. But yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like this. Um, leave me a thumbs up and a comment if you have any feedback and yeah, stay tuned for any future videos. Uh, but yeah, just quickly demonstrating a um, bit more of the functionality. Let's say I want to bring another unit in. So I'm just going to update the appearance. Uh, one thing I will also mention, if you do uh, purchase this, I'll send a link to another YouTube video that just is a quick tutorial on how to use it and get the most out of it. Uh, just to, you know, give people a bit of help. But yeah, let's say I've brought this figure in and, you know, for demonstrational purposes, maybe I want this one sitting on the bonnet of the car. So I'll roughly get it into position and then I can use the mate controller for that one. And that's going to allow me to adjust all the mates. So these are labeled accordingly to help navigate. It's going to lift the left leg up a little bit, flex the knee, and 
and there we go. I've added in another figure that is sitting on the car. So obviously I can take more time to go in and adjust all the uh, sort of joints in the body, uh, but it can be a bit time consuming, but I may just quickly go back to my base model um, just to run through all the adjustments for anyone that might be interested. So obviously the hip flexion, uh, the hip abduction, so which is kind of the, the side to side motion of the hip. Let me just try to demonstrate that a little bit clearer. Uh, the hip internal rotation, so sort of twisting. And then that's repeated for the left leg and also the foot angle. I think I forgot to mention the foot. Uh, I also have the arm positioning. Sorry, you might hear my cat meowing next to me. Uh, I can adjust the shoulder to, you know, move up and down. Uh, also the abduction to move outwards. Uh, the internal rotation uh, and the elbow angle. So the internal rotation is more useful kind of when the elbow is, is bent. Um, I have set limits on these. If anyone, you know, has feedback, if they want me to increase them, I... I can easily do that. Um, so yeah, may may do that going forward. Uh, also the wrist rotation. So if you need a bit of extra rotation there on the wrist. Uh, and obviously you can do that for the left arm. And then finally the right, the, the hand, both hands really can adjust the position of the thumb and all the fingers. So they all have two degrees of freedom. So not quite as complex um, and accurate as the, you know, biological hand. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, this took me a really long time modeling this, not even just modeling this, actually getting all the, the assembly set up. So the mates are, you know, stable um, and accurate and yeah, easily adjustable. So yeah, I may, some things I may do in the future, add some face details. Obviously this is just a blank face. Um, another thing I want to do is reduce the file size. So the base model was actually about 27 megabytes. Uh, and it's just because it had a lot of features. I will go through that in a more detailed video soon. But then I used a master modeling approach where I brought that base model in. Internally, it had been split up into all the different parts. But then each one I would go through and delete the unnecessary parts. So if we look in this feature tree, the torso and the head um, became one part. The right leg is split up into multiple bodies, uh, left leg and so on. And, you know, the, the hands took up a, a lot of parts as well. So because I had a master modeling approach and used the insert part for each one, that 27 megabytes was carried over. So the whole file size of this is 800 megabytes, um, which is fairly large. And I will go into that in a, in a detailed video, maybe how I can reduce that uh, if you're interested. And um, yeah, if you, you know, if, if you do uh, purchase this, I really appreciate uh, your support. Um, this took me a long time, currently mostly just been working on this as well as doing a bit of freelance work. but. If this isn't financially feasible for me, I will just have to go back to a traditional job. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this short video. Um, yeah, again, hit, hit a like and drop a comment if you found this interesting or useful.